Chainsaw Man is much deeper than you think, especially with these two characters. One representing freedom and the other control. In this video, I'll be talking about how exactly these characters represent these themes and how it's applicable in real life. First, let's talk about Denji and Screedama. As we all know, Denji has always just wanted to be free and get a girlfriend. He does not have any huge goals or ambitions. He just wants to get laid with Makima for performing his job. For the sake of this, he keeps doing what Makima tells him to and eventually becomes one of her slaves and ironically loses his freedom. Now let's talk about Makima as control. As we all know, Makima is all about control. She's got an entire organization under her control and even many servants. Her charismatic and manipulative nature combined with her extreme power makes her really good at controlling people. She easily takes Denji under her wing and manipulates him. However, in the end of part 1 of Chainsaw Man, Denji gets to know Makima's true intentions and fights against her. Both of them not only have an actual battle, but also a battle of ideals that is control versus freedom. And as Makima gets defeated and becomes Nayuta, Denji has to take care of her. He loses some of his freedom and gains some control. And this is how the balance between control and freedom plays an important role in our lives and in the society. We can cite several examples from history where too much control over freedom has resulted into massive fights for it such as the French Revolution, the Indian independence movement against the British and basically any other movement of the oppressed against the oppressors. This is why Karl Marx in his book Communist Manifesto talks about how there's always a conflict between two groups in the society and that being the bourgeoisie aka the capitalists and the proletariats aka the workers and how there will be a rise of socialism and communism in the future, which is certainly happening slowly but surely. Too much freedom is not a good thing either because we human beings are bastards and we'll always find a way to exploit this freedom. In conclusion, balance is necessary. We should always know when to restrict ourselves from doing stuff and when to be free and open. This is something which I really want the leaders of all the countries States or anywhere, even a small project group of a college to apply. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon. See you next time. Sayonara and Matani.